this gear review is for the Allen Smart or Smart Research C2 compressor. This is basically an SSL type compressor. And I first heard about this. I know that Sean Everett used one on the Alabama Shakes record. I think um, Joe Ciccarelli used one on the Icky Thump record with the white stripes. But I also heard about this from Ryan Hewitt, who's a mix engineer based in Nashville. And he, you know, he's he's mixed a lot of stuff like Blink-182 and Red Hot Chili Peppers. And I was watching some gear videos of him, you know, and this was kind of on his mix bus. And so I, I was pretty intrigued and wanted to, you know, figure out, okay, if you have somebody like Ryan Hewitt, who's mixing all types of music, um, lots of rock and country and pop and that kind of stuff. You know, it seems like this piece is pretty versatile. So I was interested in getting it, which is why I got it. And so there's basically two modes. Um, you could do stereo mode where you click the stereo button, everything is controlled on the left side. But a lot of people swear by going dual mono which you know you don't press the stereo button and you just basically set the left side and the right side at the same um, exact settings and basically running it in dual mono when i first heard that i was like oh maybe that's just a myth or something like that but it actually does sound better and i have no idea why it sounds better it just does um, every time you i try to do this the you know the stereo button it just it seems more the stereo image seems narrower and it just doesn't sound as good so i've been running this uh, dual mono with both in and i've been for now i've been using this on the on the drum bus i've used this on the mix bus um a bit as well but right now i'm really really liking it on the drum bus right now so i have it set at you know zero db I I like the 1.5 ratio. I like um, 1.5. I like three, and I like four. Um, those ratios the most. And my go-to has been slowest attack. It's at 30, and then fastest release because this is on the drum bus. Um, and then doing the ratio at four. And I'm kind of doing like four dB of of um gain reduction of compression and i have the makeup gain at 4 db on both sides i've tried to i've tried to use this with you know putting the makeup gain at zero but you really get more of the magic from when you're adding in that makeup gain after you've compressed um the audio i don't think it's just because it's louder it something about it i feel like it always sounds better with makeup gain not because it's louder but because it's you know you're kind of boosting the signal after after all of this compression um i also do ha you know they have these external side chains where you have to buy these like y cable things for the external side chain they're they're like 50 bucks or something like that um and then you basically connect you connect you know there's a whole signal path in the back where you can connect it i do have the external side chain compression and when I'm using this on the mix bus, I like to engage the side chain so that the low end isn't, you know, compressing. But for drums, I, I feel like I'm getting a really good sound by just, um, you know, this is on my drum bus. And so the, the snare and the kick are, are really getting compressed. And I, it just sounds better um, to me by not putting the side chain when you're using this as a drum, drum bus compressor. And, you know, I, I watching some old videos of Ryan Hewitt, his, his mix bus was like the C2, um, this, the curve bender, and then like a mag EQ4. And so I kind of replicated that and I liked it, but I realized because I don't have a drum bus compressor, I'm feeling like I'm getting a lot more use out of first having a drum bus compressor and, you know, setting the C2 on it. It just has that SSL glue and the smack and like it kind of doesn't matter what genre you're using, you know, maybe it does, but I feel like even using this on the mix bus, I get why it's 
why he was using it on the mix bus because it just it's such a good like first off the eq of the compressor is very neutral i feel like what you put into it is what you get so it's not changing the eq curve of your mix bus um so like eq wise it's very neutral and when you just i've used this on like a guitar bus and things like that and it just makes everything sound more expensive i i don't know how to explain it other than it just sounds it just sounds correct and it sounds expensive and it sounds more cohesive and glued together especially in like a drum bus where you have multiple elements or a mix bus where you're combined you're like compressing your whole you know mix on the mix bus i think you know 2 db of gain reduction is probably where you want to be um, i'm hitting it pretty hard kind of a little bit below four when i'm using it as a drum drum bus compressor uh, but it just works and it cuts through for the the end mix but this is you know i have the waves ssl plug-in you know the compressor that that you know plug-in and this just doesn't it's not even close it, it just completely transforms like the sound of anything you put in it in a way where it just corrects the sound it doesn't give it a color it just gives it more spank and it just you feel like you're hearing it more clearly and that's without any other eq that's just like running signal through it it's just everything sounds more correct um and so yeah just using use it on your drum bus use it um in dual mono use it in stereo if you want oh and, and they do have like this crush button too and it's it adds like this really cool harmonic um you know harmonic distortion um, and I think this fantastic for a drum bus, like if you wanted to use like a, a crush bus where, you know, you sent your drum mix to a bus that would kind of, was kind of crushing your sound. I think that's really good. You know, I think the crush button might be a little too much, um, just to even engage it, like on your regular drum bus, definitely not the mix bus. It just adds too much, um too like I, I don't know i always just felt like you kind of need to exaggerate the crush the crush feature so like for crush applications it makes more sense but i wouldn't just try to like use this keep it engaged on your mix bus or your drum bus um but more for like a separate crush bus but uh yeah it's really good um it's a staple for some reasons and you know now that i've been able to use it and kind of like it makes sense why a lot of other record producers were using this on on different albums it's it's a fantastic compressor uh, this is the first compressor i got hardware unit and do not regret it i feel like ssl type compressors have just been a staple for a reason um, they're just kind of a classic in that way